we've got a couple cool new builds going on here. So uh, shop's been super busy. Obviously World Finals is coming up, so things are slamming along. Um, yeah, definitely everybody's having the COVID challenges, part supplies, shipping issues, donor problems. But uh, yeah, we're making the best out of uh, the cards that we are dealt. And luckily, we got lots of buyers, a lot of people looking to get onto a GP1. So um, yeah, busy and full order book, that's for sure. But yeah, a couple new boats uh, coming in and um, yeah, knocking them out every week. New flake green, like an emerald green. Got a black base color. So that's, this is gonna be a, like black base gel coat with a, a green flake in it. And then obviously clear coated. So super deep finish. Yeah, it turned out really good. Really unique color. Um, we're trying to do a lot of like one-off stuff nowadays, trying to kind of push the boundaries a little bit and what we can do. But yeah, thing turned out really good. So like super deep, lots of clear. But yeah, really pretty boat. It's gonna be going to a local US guy and uh, he's a good, good dude. So he'll be out on the racetrack with it. And then uh, gunmetal. So this is a very common color. We've been doing this color for a long time now. So this has just come out the workshop. Um, both of these boats are actually gonna be going to Go Fast USA. So Christoph will be assembling them for his clients. And uh, yeah, so gunmetal, it's kind of like a dark gray. Really nice colorway too, kind of works well with any colors, graphics, maths, all terms, you know, makes it all look good. Pretty hard to, to mess up a gunmetal boat with your color scheme. So a lot of people ask me, what is a standard GP1 package? And what do you get for your money when you obviously just order a turnkey boat? And visually, this is exactly what you get. So a turnkey GP1 is very much that, it's turnkey. It's ready to garage, it's ready to hit the water. So it includes basically ev everything that you see here. Graphics, uh, graphics obviously of your choice. Um, handle pole, you can pick between a RRP cast handle pole or a Belosian handle pole. Obviously this customer went with a Belosian. Jetra mats. Duck bills, hull extensions, rear sponsons, ODI grips, pretty much everything that you see here. So the only difference really between this boat and, uh, and a bone standard normal package is this customer decided to go with a tune and an impeller. So that's been upgraded, obviously you can't see it, but it has been done and uh, that is a small upcharge. But yeah, this is, this is what you get. So uh, one of the good things is with our new setup is the whole new nose piece with the integrated lights, really clean. Cleaned up the whole front of the boat here. So all the hardware around the handle pole is all hidden away. And uh, yeah, definitely, definitely made a nice uh, upgrade to the boat. So we'll open up the hood and you can check out the engine compartment. So engine wise, this is what you get. 1500 cc, four cylinder, 160 horsepower, Kawasaki engine. Um, we use everything from the Kawasaki. So we use the Kawasaki fuel tank, coils and electrics, obviously the whole engine. We do do an upgraded air filter directly onto the throttle body. Our water box setup, so you can quieten the boat down and, and set up the boat for um, the kind of sound that you want. So if you're riding in a place that obviously has some some sound form of sound level issue, you can run more water into the water box. You can quieten it down and uh, not irritate your neighbors. So that was a nice add-on, and I'm actually racing with that same water box in my race boat in Pro Ski. So the performance is still really good, as long as you dry it out for the races. The drier you run it, the more performance. Obviously, the wetter you run it, the quieter the boat is, but you do lose a little bit of performance. Not a lot, but when you're racing, you know, you want every last little bit of, uh, of advantage you can get. But uh, yeah, this is, this is the setup. So this is uh, a standard, package this one like i said earlier does have an ecu reflash and a impeller but besides that this is a standard gp1 so something like this is what you would order you can get to pick all your colors 
you can get to pick all the design of your graphics the colors of your mats and uh, what color you would like your handle pole so if you do decide to go with a blosion pole you can pick you know if you want this orange blue whatever your choice is as far as the gel coat finishes of the boat this customer went with like a gunmetal we call this like a gunmetal flake flake is no extra charge so flake finish is the same price as a normal color I highly recommend going with this kind of finish it's durable looks good gets a very thick clear coat on it so uh, yeah really turns out awesome so uh, yeah a quick look at a, another one of our turnkey builds Tyron uh, finished this up this week and uh, he's on to two more so yeah busy days but um, yeah no bad days when you get to build these bad boys so yeah another GP1 heading to a new owner this time he's heading over to England Something we also did to help out and get this boat done a little bit quicker is, uh, and it is something that we offer to all of our clients, we can drill and set up all your engine mounts. So we, this ski has actually already had a pump in it, it's had an engine in it to do all the alignment. So this is all pre-done on this boat. So Tyron's already had the engine in, got the alignment all nice and straight, drilled the engine, um, so it's pretty much all ready to go. And then obviously for, for people that do not want to build build a, or buy a complete ski from us we also do offer different levels of finish so you can have this boat as close to being a complete goat boat as what you would want so we can go ahead and drill all your mountings drill the hoods set up all of that stuff and get it as close to being a complete boat as what you would choose to be honest with you we really do prefer building turnkey boats um, we like being able to control the finish and the quality and then also get to test the boat so people don't realize but honestly there's so much in the setup of any stand-up jet ski so the completed ski being able to finish the ski and go take it to the water test it set it up it, it, it's worth everything so uh, at the end of the day if you really do want the best ski out there it's best to get a turnkey boat so you can get the water test, you can get all of our experience in setting the ski up and getting all the little things worked out, pole lengths, ride plate setup, all of those little, little, you know, things that we've learned over all the years make a massive, massive difference. You know, you can take the same ski to the water and you can make it five miles an hour slower by just not having the setup correct. And, you know, people in the performance world, they chase speed, they chase, you know, acceleration. And if somebody had a completed ski and you said, hey, I can give you five miles an hour extra, I mean, what would somebody be willing to pay for five miles an hour? A lot. And uh, something like five miles an hour might not cost you one dollar extra. It's just purely in the setup. So uh, it's one of those things people overlook it. They don't know how important it really is to have your boat set up properly and water tested. And I mean, in my opinion, it's one of the most important things. So a uh, little, little piece of advice. One of the advantages of getting us to build a complete ski is that it gets water tested. Myself or Tyron rides every single GP1 uh, before it heads out. And you know that the boat is gonna be dialed in by the time you get it. Yeah, you might need to do very small adjustments, maybe adjust the handle pole a quarter of an inch or something small like that, but it's gonna be right there. And at least you have a base setting of what the boat should be doing. So a lot of people, you know, they build a boat, they think it's great until they ride another one that is so much better or set up better, and you just don't know how good it could be. So little thing just to keep in mind when you build or buy a boat, setup is crucial you know it could be uh, worth a lot of mile an hour and doesn't really cost any extra money fitting out a new GP1. Hard at work. 
So yeah, this one's getting a solus pump uh, with drop nozzle, getting a scat prop. So he's got it all flipped over, just fitting the pump shoe and all of that. So basically he'll get this thing pretty much buttoned up upside down before it gets flipped right side up. And then uh, he'll get back to putting the handle pole on, engine, and all of that. So rear, rear sponsons are already done, hull extensions are done, obviously duck bills, pump, scoop grade, pump shoe, pump plate, all of that already fitted. But yeah, you'll get that all uh, all done, button up the whole bottom, flip it over, and then uh, get ready, just reinstall the handle pole. The handle pole's already been mock fitted, all of that was already pre-done, but we just pop it off before we turn the boat upside down. It's a lot easier to work with the boat upside down with all of that stuff off it. And then, uh, yeah, put it right side up, and then uh, start fitting the engine. So, yeah, pretty pretty much smooth sailing from this point onwards. Something uh, we've done quite a few red boats in the past, and then uh, something that Tyron's busy working on. Flake black. This is uh, we're gonna probably run out of time today, but this will be done. Probably got another solid day left on this, and then the sucker will be ready to hit the water. And then something totally unique. First one in this color. So like green bottom and like a dove gray silver flake top deck. Something, something different and cool. Definitely looks uh, really good in real life. When you see it in person, really, really cool color. Something totally different. Got the green bottom. Yeah, pretty cool. Nice to do some different boats. Something, uh, yeah, it's always trying to be a little bit different. Try and throw a new twist on everything. But yeah, looks awesome. It's like Christmas. That's how the nose pieces look before they go on. Got all the flake finish. And uh, we'll go and drill that, put it all under here. Yeah, look good. So there's a nose piece all mock fitted. And we'll go now and just put the front bumper on. There we go, nose bumper fitted. So new nose piece, nose bumper, then we'll move on. This boat's also got the flake interior. So same finish on the outside of the boat, all on all the engine mounts on the bearing carrier, obviously the ride plates.
but this is how it looks coming straight out the box. So this came out the box a few minutes ago and uh, yeah, ready into assembly. Here's another GP1 that's uh, in route to being finished. So this is gonna be a full race build. This is getting uh, everything. So a big pump, big engine, it's gonna have cams, pistons, uh, all the good stuff. This will be pretty much an exact replica of mine and Tyne's race boats. So um, yeah, we sell exactly what we race. And um, yeah, unfortunately it costs a little bit more money, but uh, you really, you get what you pay for on these suckers, that's for sure. But yeah, you get to basically get all the experience from all the races that we do. We out there all the time. We uh, get these packages figured out and uh, you're able to purchase, like I said, exactly what we race. So nothing's held back. Everything's available uh, to the client customer and um, yeah, you can get exact replica. So this one uh, should be ready here in the next few days. We've got a few bo boats on the go at all times. So GP1's on like constant production. So uh, yeah, pretty much uh, full production line going here, in and out every single day.